Um, welcome to Intutors. This is um, question 31. Now, like I said, if you've not hit the subscribe button, try and do so because we're going to be solving several questions that will interest you and this is basic. So, um, question 31 says, find the value of x in the figure below to the nearest whole number. Now, um, remember, this is your um, right angle triangle. So, all you need to do, want to find x. So, you've been given an angle. So, employ your Sokatoa here. So, we need to know which of them we are using. So, remember, we've been given um, the, we're looking for the opposite and we have the adjacent. So, the one that has to do with the opposite and the adjacent is the tan. So, we're going to employ our tan. So, tan 30 is equal to um, x over 20. Therefore, when you cross multiply, x is going to be 20 times tan 30. Okay? So, the first thing you need to do it's um, how are you going to know um, your tan 30 tan 30 so that's the first thing so you need to understand special angles so um, you need to understand special angles which is going to help you enough to know things like um, sine 30 cos 30 sine 0 cos 0 um, sine 60 cos 60 um, tan 30 and tan 60 and the 90 degrees but I believe um, you are given your four figure tables so if you search from your four figure tables um, tan 30 is going to give us a value of uh, like you have to look for um, tan 30 from your four figure table so it's going to give us um, 0 0.5773 so um, we are going to multiply these so we're going to say two times five seven seven three removing the decimal place two times three is um six two times seven is fourteen four carry one two times seven again it's um fourteen fifteen that's five carry one two times five it's um ten plus one that's eleven so um we're going to put our zero um zero and move our decimal place that's four places that's going to be one two three four so which is going to be 11.5 11.5 so multiplying this x is going to be 11.54 cm and this is they said to the nearest whole number so it's going to be 12 cm that's our final answer okay so um so um this is going to be the correct answer. It's going to be um, um, sorry, the correct answer is going to be 12 cm. So 12 cm is the correct answer. Okay. So the next question says um, 32. Okay. Question 32 says um, find the diameter of a circle whose circumference is 44 cm. Now, um, to solve this question, you need to understand what's the formula for your circumference. Circumference of a circle, it's given as um, um, 2 pi r, and you need to know that your radius is given as diameter divided by 2. Therefore, diameter will be 2 times the radius. So, our circumference was given as 44, which is equal to 2 times, remember our pi, that's 22 over 7, times our r. So, let's, if we can get our r, then we can get our d so this is going to be 44 times 7 is equal to 2 times 22 times r therefore our r is going to be um, 44 times 7 divided by 2 times 22 so 2 here 1 is going to be 1 2 in 20, 44 is going to be 22 22 here is 1, 22 here is 1. So we have our R, therefore our R is going to be 7 cm. Therefore our diameter is going to be 2 times 7, which is going to give us um, 14 cm, final answer. So the final answer in this question is going to be 14 cm. Okay, so um, the next question is question 33, which says, um, calculate the height of a trapezium 
below given that bc is 10 cm ad is 16 cm and this area it's 104 cm the first thing you need to know is what is the formula for calculating the area of a trapezium area of trapezium is given as half times sum of the parallel sides times the height now the parallel sides are given as less um, a is going to be 10 and b is going to be 16 then um, the height is not given but we're given the area so we can impute all our values and get our um, and get our height so the area it's um, 104 is equal to half times our sum of parallel sides is 10 plus um, 10 plus 16 times our height okay so this is going to be equal to 104 equal to 1 over 2 10 plus 16 is going to give us um, 26 times height this is going to be 104 equal to 2 into 26 is going to give us um, 13 times height okay so um, therefore our height is going to be 104 all over 13 height is going to be 104 all over 13 therefore um, our h is going to be now to get this a faster way to know this is um, but just multiply um, 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 13 by 10 so 13 times 10 is going to give us 130 subtract 13 from this you're going to get 117 subtract another 13 from this you're going to get um, 104 so when you subtract this this is going to be the ninth multiplication now this is going to be the eighth multiplication so automatically this is 8 cm so you need to find a faster way to do your multiplication so that you don't get to waste much of your time because this is a time-based exam okay so i'm um, in the diagram below if the area of triangle pqr is 40 cm squared find the area of triangle pqt okay now um area of triangle pqr now remember that the area of area of triangle is given as what half base times height now for triangle pqr pqr this is triangle pqr don't mind my triangle this is pqr now this is h and this is four now is the area which is um 40 it's half times base four times the height so we can find our height from here and use it to calculate for um triangle pqt so this is two here is one two here is two that means um 40 is equal to two times h therefore h will be 40 over 2 which is um 20 cm okay so now to find um area of area of triangle p QT will be half times what is the base of PQT now the base is QT which is from here to here so we are going to sum up 4 plus 6 plus 5 to now give us um, 15 cm that is our base so our base is 15 then our height it's going to be which is what we got that's 20 so this is going to be 2 into 1 2 into 20 um, is going to give us um, 10 so this is going to be 15 times 10 and our final answer is 150 cm don't forget your square so this is the correct answer okay so the next question is um, question 35 it says calculate the area of a semicircle of radius 14 cm take pi to be 22 over 7 now in solving this kind of question, the area of a circle is given as a um, pi r squared. So now we know this. For a semicircle, area of semicircle, remember semicircle, this is a full circle. Now a semicircle is just half of the circle. So the shaded part is a semicircle. So area of a semicircle will be pi r squared divided by 2 okay so um all we need to do is half times our pi is 22 over 7 times our radius which is 14 
14 times 14 because you said 17 and um, 14 um, radius square. 7 here is 1, 7 into 14 is 2. Okay, so 2 here is 1, 2 into 2 is 1. So we have it as 22 times 14. So we're going to multiply 22 by 14. So 2 times 4 will give us 8, 2 times 4 is 4 times 2, 1 times 2 is 2, 2. So this is going to be 8, 0, carry 1, and that's going to give us um, 3. So our final answer is 308. Remember, he said area, so it's cm squared. So our correct answer here is going to be um, C. C is the correct answer. Okay, the next question, it's um, question 36. Now it says find the area of the diagram below. Now look at the diagram. What is this? Yes, I know you know it. It's called a square. And remember for a square, it's length times width, which is also the same thing as length times length, because all the sides are equal. So it's going to be 23 times 23. So 23 times 23 is going to give us 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4. So it's going to be 9, 6 plus 6 is 2, carry 1, and that's um, 5. So we have 529. And remember, you're looking for your area. Don't always forget your cm squared. So the correct answer here is D. Okay, so um, question 37 says, um, question 37 says, what's the third angle of a triangle if the other two are dates? Now, this is your triangle. Remember, what is the sum angles of a triangle? It's 180. So this is um, 3x minus 20. Now this is um, 4x minus 10. Now we don't know this. So let's call this, um, what is the third angle of a triangle if the other two are dates? Now, remember, we're going to call this one y. Our unknown, we're going to call it y. So let's sum everything up because it's going to give us 180. So 3x minus 20 plus 4x minus 10 plus y is going to give us 180. So all we need to do is to find our y. 3x plus 4x is going to give us 7x minus 20 minus 10 is going to give us a minus 30 plus y is equal to 180. Now we're going to collect like terms um, making y the subject of the formula. So y is going to be 180. 7x coming over is going to be minus 7x. Then minus 30 coming over is going to be plus 30. Therefore, y is going to be 180 plus 30 is going to be 210 minus 7x. Uh, so our final answer is 210 minus 7x. So the correct answer here is D. So these are correct answer. Now question 38 says, which of the following are congruent triangles? Now congruent triangles are ang triangles that are like similar. Now let's study our triangle. Now we have 60 degree here. Um, the 60, okay, we have 50 and we have 5. Okay, is it similar to this? Now look here, 60 is opposite to 5. In the second one, in this particular one, 60 is opposite to 5. But here, 60 is not opposite to 5, so they are not congruent. Now look at this particular one. The unknown angle x in this one is opposite to 5. So the three angles are not similar. So no one is similar. So the answer here, it's none. Now in congruent triangles, congruent, congruent triangles, they are similar. They are similar. So in this case, none are similar. So, okay, let's go over it again. Now, our 60, uh, we have 60, 50, and 5 degree here in the first one, in the first triangle. Now, coming over to the second triangle, now, the angle 60 is opposite 5. But here, our 5 is opposite um, the angle that is unknown. So, they are not similar. Now, if we compare 3 to 2, the angle here that is unknown is opposite 5. And that is different from the other two. So, none of them are similar. Okay, so we'll go over to the next question. That's question 39. It says, a football field is drawn to a scale of... Um, 1 cm represents 5 meters. If the field is 70 meters by 50 meters, find the length and the breadth 
of the drawing okay okay so for the length let's do for the length first for the length we're going to say since 1 cm represents um, that means 5 meters represents 1 cm so 70 meters is going to be 70 meters times 1 cm all over 5 meters meters to cancel meters 5 into here is 1 5 into 7 we have 1 remainder 2 5 into 10 is 2 so this is going to be 12 cm then for the width we are going to have if 5 meters represents 1 cm we are going to have 50 meters to be 50 meters times um, 1 cm all over 5 meters our meters will cancel meters 5 into here is 1 5 into 50 is 25 so we're going to get um, 5 into 50 uh, we're going to get 5 into 5 this is um, 10 sorry this is 10 so this is going to be 10 cm so our length times our length and breadth it's going to be um, 12 cm by 10 cm okay so our correct answer here it's B B is the final answer so when you draw it to your scale it's going to be that so now question 40 now before I solve question 40 now please do not forget to subscribe to this channel like um, we're going to be releasing several videos for you we believe these videos are going to help you very well in your studies okay so let's find the value of X and the figure below okay now we need to find X okay so I'm going to draw this diagram now notice something when you see this kind of line where you have an arrow here and you have an arrow here you have an arrow here and you also have an arrow here it means the two lines are parallel to each other so it means I can extend this line like this and I can also extend this line like this because it's a straight line okay now it says here is 60 degree now remember your alternate angles that means here it's going to also be 60 degrees okay so now it now means if here is 60 degrees then to get the remaining now angle some angle some angle at a point at a point is 360 degree so to get our x if here is x x is going to be therefore x plus 60 is supposed to be 360 which is some angle at the point therefore x is going to be 360 minus 60 degree and that is going to give us um, that's 300 degrees so our final answer is 300 degrees which is um, e okay